I'm now with Ben Chester Masters, who has brought his Titan P51 Mustang to the show. Ben, congratulations on the aeroplane. Thank you for bringing it along and sharing it with us today. How long have you been a pilot and part of the LAA? Um, I've been part of, the, part of the LAA probably since about uh, 2000, I'm guessing here, but I've been flying since 1990. And you started with LAA type aeroplanes, or did you progress as a career from others? I started with a, a fixed-wing microlite called a Spectrum, which came from Herefordshire, and I learned to fly on that. And after that, I built a Sherwood Ranger. In fact, that that was in the uh, mid to late uh, 90s. And after the Sherwood Ranger, I bought um, John Ashby's uh, uh, Slepchev Storch and put a couple of hundred hours on that before eyeing up this Mustang article in your magazine. So the article from the Light Air Aviation magazine I guess inspired you to buy, buy one of these. How long did the airplane take to, to put together and was that single-handed or did you have a team of people? Uh, well I was working as a hotel chef at the time so I used to get up at four in the morning so it tells you something about how single-handed it was and um, it, I reckon it was 1800 hours before we, we took it out of the workshop and uh, there's been an awful lot of uh, testing and trialing and bureaucratic stuff and quite a lot of engineering as well since but fundamentally it looked like a plane and it arguably could have flown say within a few weeks of me taking it out so if you said 1800 hours absolute minimum and maybe two and a half thousand if you really wanted to dot all the i's cross the t's actually. and as regarding putting the aircraft together was it something that um was easier to do or did it something have you ever built an airplane before i mean if it's a first aircraft it must be quite a daunting task to start with this one it was daunting, and it was daunting largely because uh, everybody kept comparing it with an RV, which it makes life an awful lot easier for the, for the customer. But you know what? All it did really was engage brain. Uh, it makes you think. Uh, you don't have everything given to you on a plate. It makes you think, and that's a real pleasure in itself. But you know what? Um, it was no harder than anything else, and um, just working with the American language, I know that sounds ridiculous, but they don't speak the same language as us. Lots of misunderstandings. And I make mistakes like nobody's business, and Francis will testify, I had to rebuild one of the wings because I messed that up. So, uh, yeah, if anybody made the mistakes, it's me. So, yeah, but it still wasn't difficult. It really wasn't. So perseverance is always the, the way to go, I suppose, and dedication like all these things. They say that an athlete you have to have dedication to, for, for everything. Um, regarding going around uh, the circuit, is, is it something that uh, really catches people's eyes, I guess, and uh, you've been around one or two shows and made a bit of a, a splash, I guess, with people? Actually, it, it is quite notorious visually, and it has caused problems because people see what they think is a Mustang in the air, and all sorts of things crop up, uh, like a very inappropriate air prox, which um, I was completely cleared from, which they reported a P-51 Mustang. And these things happen quite a lot, and at air shows you, you, you do find uh, people homing in on you, like um, flies onto onto somebody's ice cream or something and it, it, it's part of the pleasures and wherever you go people are really really fascinated by war things by this aircraft it's been a real really fun time really fun excellent well thank you very much and we're next door to the uh, mosquito the, from, from france so it's making quite a collection with, within the uh, airfield so thanks very much ben for bringing it along today we have uh, some special guests here with us this afternoon we have jacques and jean paul all the way from France, from La Rochelle. They've brought this fabulous replica de Havilland Mosquito with, with them. I'm going to ask a few questions concerning the construction and how long they've had the aeroplane. When did you start uh, putting the project together? How many years ago? 18 years. 18 years. So 18 years from the time you started the, yeah, the, the with, the, with the plans? Because the project, because it is a rebuilt. At the scale 3 4, 75 percent. So, all the things have you to, 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 to study, to study with engineers and so on. And uh, it was the, the dream of Michel Bogart, who is a, who is a man who wants to, that this kind of aircraft can survive. The first flow was two years ago in April, the first flow, and he, he had to be um, continued as a man, an engineer, an engineer pilot from the Direction Générale de l'Aviation Civile in France. And uh, Jean-Paul was one of the builders. Ah. And he was in one of the team that began uh, 18 years ago. And he's the pilot, um, the pilot too. Well, so we, are the, we are one of the pilots. Yes. 
on the, the few pilots we can we can uh, pilot this kind of aircraft. It's in speed and the no, normal cruise is 160 knots. It is the uh, the, the cruise at 75 percent, and the economic cruise is about 240 140 knots.